What's good, YouTube? God damn it, what's happening, man? <laughs> the greatest and the latest, Bodus and the coldest, aka Platinum with no features, aka King Kong ain't got shit on me, aka probably still fucking your girlfriend as you watch this video, all right? It's probably gonna be a rewind, all right? Today, this one's a little bit. I like this one. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just be honest with you, I like this one. 30 year old women. <laughs> man. <laughs> I love a 30 year old chick I love a girl in her 30s Like I love a girl in her 30s Y'all are some of the most Decisive indecisive motherfuckers I've ever met <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at my own jokes man But Oh my god Women, women in their 30s Alright <laughs> Fellas let me just tell it to you like this these are no-nonsense women, all right? These are cut-and-dry girls. These are women that motherfucking get to the chase. These are women that get to the point. These are going to be you get married in two weeks type of women, all right? All right. Think with a girl in her 30s. She done done the bullshit. She done played the games. She done had the kids. Her kids are probably... If she ain't already had kids, she's probably about to. Well, she's done making them. Well, whatever. That's kind of like a broad... But the thing with a girl in her 30s, this is your no-nonsense woman. She ain't taking shit from nobody. Now, I'm talking about this ain't like the late 20s where it's just like she's trying to get to that point where she wants to get married. She's like, nigga, if you're not trying to be my motherfucking husband in the next three weeks, get the fuck out my face. That is a 30-year-old. <laughs> Oh my god, that is a 30 year old A 30 year old Don't want to hear shit But what you tr trying to do for her In a sense You know what I'm saying I'm not saying 30 year olds are just selfish But they ain't fucking around Alright Now me personally You got two types of 30 year olds You got one that I can't stand And one that I love And I'm going to just put it to you like this I'm going to go with the one that I love You got the 30 year old freak chick that just want to just have sex because she done been through a lot of shit with niggas she ain't she you know she done been married a couple times her kids done her kids are teenagers now they bought out the house so she's getting back to basically being 21 but like being 21 with life experience you know what i'm saying you, the freak 30 I, I call it the freak 30 year old because this is the motherfucker that's down to try shit you know what i'm saying that's down to live the only downside about the freak 30 year old is she's not She's way different from when she's 20. What I mean is, you cannot... You got you, you to gotta fuck a 30-year-old like a Cadillac. <laughs> what I mean by that is, you, you can fuck her, but you can't really be bucket wild with the shit. You know what I'm saying? She got to go to work in the morning. She wake up with aches. You know what I'm saying? She, she's so, she done been sore. She, I want to say she feels insecure. It depends on your 30-year-old, but some girls in their 30s are kind of insecure because they feel like they don't look as good as when they did when they was 20. They're not necessarily wrong, but there are girls in their 30s I like more than girls in their 20s. I mean, 30-year-old, me personally, this is like my preference. I like a girl in her 30s. I preferably date girls that are older than me, you know what I'm saying? Because mentally, we're on the same level, motherfucker. But the 30-year-old freak, you know what I'm saying? This this the girl that can send her kids over her dad's house. Like like nine times there are times where you're gonna catch a thirty year old, depending on how old she is. You know what I'm saying? She's like late thirties. Her kids are like I said, they're eighteen, they ain't running, they doing what they wanna do, they starting to experience life, so they getting out the house and you know what I'm saying, they doing their own little thing. She ain't gotta really this the age where you can kinda get your sex on a little bit, because like I said, she don't gotta watch kids like that. Now I mean like late thirties, you know what I'm saying? It depends on what age her kids are in the thirties. You know what I'm saying? This is your decisive freak. You know what I'm saying? She, listen, you meet this motherfucker, she is with it. You know what I'm saying? If she is the, about the sex life. You know what I'm saying? She is, that's the thing I love about a 30-year-old. They are some, this is the more decisive group of women I feel like personally. You know what I'm saying? These are the, she She know what she wants. If she want to fuck you, that's, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? If she has a thing for you, that's what it is. All right? There's no... There's no gains with a 30-year-old, I don't feel like. You know what I'm saying? Now, to get to the motherfucking one I hate. The let's get married, let's settle down, let's have a family. Why can't we be together? You're not going to waste my time. 
I got my shit together. Strong, independent woman, 30-year-old. My God, my God, my God, when I run into a chick like this, I want a motherfucking headbutt a motherfucking elephant. All right? Let me tell you something about a 30-year-old that ain't, like, got married or had their relationship yet. They are like the freak 30-year-old, but they're the same way. If you not trying to be with them, first date, when well, you ain't trying to be in a relationship with me, you need to get the fuck home. Pay for the date, get go home. Just listen. Don't try to sway her. Don't try to convince her that it's going, you know, you can probably cult her into a, you know what I'm saying? A, a younger girl, you can kind of, like, get her in a position where she want a boyfriend, but you can kind of fuck her. A 30-year-old, I'm not saying you can't do it. But you kind of, this is the chick, and if she's about getting that ring on her finger, god damn it, that's what she about. She's trying to pray her husband into her life at this point. And I'm not talking bad about y'all 30 years. I'm just telling you what I really think. So take it how you want to take it and dislike this video all you want to. I'm just telling you exactly what I think about girls in their 30s, all right? Telling you exactly what I think about girls in their 30s. Um... But yeah, man, these, these are your, she looking for a husband, she's looking for a beta male provider, and I know y'all don't like that term, but that's kind of what it is. She looking for a nigga to come into the house and pay the rent and change the oil in the car. I know, man, shit, that's what a man's supposed to do, but, you know what I'm saying, a lot of us niggas is players, and a lot of us is just, you know, playing the field. So if, it, if you essentially just trying to get your rocks off, you know what I'm saying, avoid the, just, just... You see the space in my hand right here? You know what I'm saying? This is where the 30-year-old want to get married chick is. Push her off screen. <laughs> All right. This is this the chick, you know what I'm saying, that... Now, nah, nah, the 30-year-old... I, I ain't going to lie. Now, the 30-year-old wanting a relationship, I feel like more of these women have their shit together. Because I think, you know, the 30-year-old that wants a relationship, I think they kind of get to the point either they, A, they're untrainable or they're not going to listen to you. Or B, they understand at this point, finally, what it takes to keep a nigga. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, they're your wifey type. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I met some real good women that in their 30s that, you know, were good, you know, that were wifey material. But like I said, I'm hoish. So it's like, I'm not really looking for that. But you can kind of tell, like, they got their shit together. Either they got an apartment or a house. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You're gonna kind of meet your more mannish women in this group. You know what I'm saying? Like, because they... These are, the thing about a 30-year-old chick, she not listening to shit you saying if she think it's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? If she don't feel like being submissive, she's not going to be submissive. If you're not trying to come in and pay them goddamn bills, nigga, you might as well hang it up. You're not trying to help, you know, you're not trying to step dad, hang it up, all right? You're not trying to motherfucking build credit with this motherfucker, hang it the fuck up, all right? The pussy's on a padlock, let it go, brother. It's not worth your time, all right? They got to do like about them though You know what I'm saying They stick to their guns A 30 year old that's trying to be wifed up They stick to their guns I really do believe that I don't really see a lot of 30 year olds Like I said unless there's a 30 year old freak You know what I'm saying 30 year old freak is sitting right here on my lap You know what I'm saying Just picture like a badass brown skinned chick that Like a Shanti in her 30s Sitting right here 30 year old freak is with me Alright 30 year old wife She's off screen You don't talk to her you don't motherfucking try to make something with her. You know what I'm saying? Let her ass go. Like I said, no disrespect to our girls in their 30s, but you're trying to be a wife. You keep that shit over there. You know what I'm saying? I don't need no ring. Just over there. But <laughs> I, like I said, I mean, I have love for all girls in their 30s, man. Y'all are just an interesting group of women. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I think my favorite part about y'all is y'all know y'all um y'all so no nonsense women. Oh yeah. Like I said, these are these are women with I mean I mean all of them in general, lopping them back into a category like a basket. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, these are women you can't really Like I said, I've I've had my dealings with 30 year old women and you can't ramshack them like that. Like I said, they gotta get up in the morning, they gotta go to the bank and work. They might be a bus driver, they might be a male lady, or they might, you know, have some government job and they ain't got these, 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 are, um, this is when your 30 year old women is right, like late twenties, early thirties, late thirties is when women go from having coochie to pussy. Now pussy is sitting in its own apartment, you know what I'm saying? With bubble baths, reading a motherfucking love novel, drinking wine. That's pussy. You know what I'm saying? Coochie is eating goddamn hot Cheetos and motherfucking, 
drinking jello shots and shit. <laughs> yeah, man. But I, I love a girl in her 30s, man. I like, like I said, these are one of my favorite groups of women. Because I like to cut the shit, you know what I'm saying? And I don't like to just dance around and bullshit with a chick all night, you know what I'm saying? And a girl in her 30s is going to get to the point. I've never, like I said, I never really took the ring around her. I never really took the ring around her Rosie with a girl in her 30s. Like I said, she gets to the point. So that's just my take on it. Like, share, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Style Let Podcast. Back with another one.